Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent Sunsea consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today to share with you guys my first sniffs and warm review on the Sensperations Black Raspberry Vanilla Collection by Sunsea. Um, so if you're not aware, we are dropping another Sensperation collection this May, so next month on May 13th. And as Sensi Consultants, we can get early access to some of the limited time offerings. So we were able to grab the collection early to share it with you guys. Um, so I have had a chance to smell these and I've had a chance to warm them. And I've got some things to say. You know I'm going to be honest with you guys. So we'll get right into it. Um, if you're newer to Sensi and not sure what Sensperations is, it's basically a new, like, gimmick limited time collection that Sunsea's doing. Um, this would be the fourth installment for them. They didn't, it's basically they take um, a best-selling fra uh, fragrance and then they do a twist. So they may add like another note to make it a whole new fragrance. So we did Vanilla Bean Buttercream. We did Go Go Mango last summer. This past Christmas, um, we did Christmas Cottage. And now for this spring summer, we're doing black raspberry vanilla. So they, in this little gifty box, um, you will be able to get five fragrances. Um, so they will give you a uh, bar of the original scent, which I, that's not what I pulled out. Hold on. Um, they will give you a bar of the original scent, black raspberry vanilla. And then you will also get the other four spins or twists of that original, which are Black Raspberry Sangria, Black Raspberry Frosting, Black Raspberry Woods, and Black Raspberry Linen. Okay? So, when this collection originally dropped, I had some high hopes for two of them. Um, so I was really hoping that Blackberry Frosting was going to be a knockout performer. And then I was really hoping that I would like the Black Raspberry Linen because I myself don't really care for Black Raspberry Vanilla. I really never gravitated towards it. It's never really been something that I wanted to like throw in a six pack if I had like a you know, party to use up post rewards and things like that on. I mean, it's not a bad scent. I mean, it's black raspberry vanilla. It's exactly what it is. There's nothing more, nothing less to it. But to me, it's just too basic Betty of a scent that I really just don't gravitate towards it. Um, I still have to try Dazzling Scents with Chris's suggestion of black raspberry vanilla and around the campfire. She says it's amazing. I definitely stand behind anything that she says. So I definitely want to try it. I still have not gotten around to it. So I think I might do that with this bar. So I did not review the original scent because we really care about the twist. Like we don't care about the original that's in the catalog. We, we know we can get this. We, we know it's available. We know. We want to hear about these ones. So that's what I mostly focused on was warming the newer scents. All right. So we're going to get right into black raspberry frosting. So Sensi says it's black, ra it's black raspberry and like buttercream frosting. So on cold. I was super disappointed on cold. I'm not going to lie about you guys. Um, super disappointed. It's so light and I don't get the vanilla buttercream like frosting note. It definitely has a bakery tone to it, but it's not like decadent confectionery buttercream frosting. This reminds me so much of Blackberry Meringue, which is actually coming back in the July Bring Back My Bar. Spoiler alert, Blackberry Meringue is way better than this scent. So even though I say it smells like it, it's nothing compared to Blackberry Meringue. On cold, it was so light, so disappointing. So I warmed it. I did six cubes, you guys, in this room. 
and I only did six cases. I always do four. I always do four in my living room and I always do four in my kitchen. That's what works for me. But because this was on the light side, I said, forget it. We'll just throw an extra two and see, see where it goes. Even throwing in those extra two cubes. So I had three going in the golden metal and three going in the frosted night. Yes, I still have not changed out my decor. Don't judge. It still works. That frosted night warmer still works for spring decor, especially if you've got a woodland forest going around. And yes, I still have my Christmas, not my Christmas, my Easter bunnies. I still have the topiary green things. I'm lazy. I don't want, I don't want to change it again. But adding those two extra cubes didn't do anything. Sorry about that. My iPhone storage was full and it cut me off. So, like I said, it died out way quick, way quicker than I thought it was going to. There's no buttercream frosting, though. I don't know what everyone's talking about that they're getting it. I did not get it. So maybe it's just my nose, maybe it's just my house, but I do not get a frosting note with this. It's just a light bakery berry note. That's pretty much it. But you don't know what you're smelling. Like you don't know if it's a cupcake, you don't know if it's like a bread or a muffin. And it's not even frosting. So, like, I really don't know what to make of this bar. I feel like if I were to recommend it to somebody, I would recommend it to individuals that do not care for the decadent, gourmand, confectionery, strong, kick-me-in-the-face bakery scents. If you are that type of person that gravitates towards those bakeries, don't get this blackberry frosting. You are not going to be happy with it. But if you are a person who likes lighter bakery, like vanilla whipped pear, clementine cupcake, sugar blossom, the very vanilla that's in the new catalog, then you are probably going to like this bar and get more out of it than me, who is a more decadent gourmand bakery type of gal. So would I club this? No. Am I going to repurchase the blackberry frosting? No. It is a done for me. All right, Black Raspberry Woods. So the scent descriptions on these bars, like I think Sensi could have added a little bit more info for us. All they really say is that there's woods and then them blackberry. So, so on on cold, it didn't smell too bad. It still smelled very light on cold. But I do get like a woody note, but it's not a smoky wood. It's not like a cedar wood or anything like that. I really don't know what type of wood I'm smelling, but you can tell that it's like a woody note. Kind of almost like what um, apple wood kind of does. But this is like blackberry wood. So I warmed it. I did four cubes in my living room and I did two cubes in a bedroom. You guys, I was disappointed with this one too. So the Blackberry Note, I actually like the Blackberry Note better in Blackberry Woods than I do in the original bar, Black Raspberry Vanilla. I do like the Blackberry Note in here. And I don't know if it's because it's more like dark and mysterious the wood note it's so undescribable. I really don't know what type of wood it is. It did come out on warm. I did not get the feet funkiness that some people are describing um, that they're getting on cold and on warm with this bar. I did not experience that. I just feel it is a lighter woody berry scent. So if you're into those things, you probably would like this. But for me, it did not perform the greatest, um, regardless of it being in my bedroom and in my living room. I got maybe medium performance, a 5 out of 10, and it barely lasted a day. Barely. So would I club Black Raspberry Woods? No. And would I repurchase it? No. Unfortunately not. And really, there's nothing else I can really compare it to. But the only thing I can say about this bar is I did like the blackberry, um, blackberry, black raspberry note better in this than I did in black raspberry vanilla. And also, 
Plum and White Woods. I really don't care for that one. This was actually a little bit better than Plum and White Woods. So, in comparison to those two. Okay. Black Raspberry Linen. So, I had high hopes for this one. Because, again, I don't like black raspberry vanilla like it doesn't like scream for me to buy it and this is available in our um, laundry line so i figured okay maybe this might be a black raspberry vanilla scent that's in laundry that i can you know grow to like so on cold it was not what i thought it was going to be it does have a slight cotton smell um but it's not like powdery in your face cotton that I prefer. It's not as strong as lavender cotton and it's a little bit stronger than fuzzy blanket on like the laundry side of the notes. But the berry in here does something funky. It really, I, I get a funkness to this bar, not the blackberry woods, but I get a funkness to this. And it's just, it's just not good. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> I warmed this in both my bathrooms. So I did three cubes in my upstairs bathroom, which is a larger bathroom. And then I did two cubes in my laundry slash half bath that's downstairs. You guys, I, I didn't, I couldn't smell this. I could not smell it on warm at all in either bedroom. And I did not have the windows open. I did not have fans on, nothing like that. So I do not know where the fragrance dissipated into the air, like where it went. Who don't, don't know where it went to, but it didn't go in my nose. That's for sure. This was a complete dud on warm. I could not spell, smell it. It's not worth the $6 in my opinion. I would much prefer getting like a lavender cotton or fuzzy blanket or even like my Pima cotton, I would probably just take my Pima cotton and throw in a cube of black raspberry vanilla and I bet I would get better performance doing it that way than I would this one. So unfortunately, because I could not smell it at all, black raspberry linen, I'm not complete, it's not club worthy and I'm definitely not repurchasing it. So right now we're three and L right now for this collection. Technically four now because I don't like black raspberry vanilla. So that could change. That could change once I do that mix that Chris suggested. But jury's still out on it. Last but not least, black raspberry sangria. This was the one I was had the most apprehension on because I'm not the type of person that likes the dark berries with like the citrus fruit. We know what that does to my nose. All I have to say is huckleberry clementine, black orange marmalade. So I was very worried that this scent was going to go in that same, you know, direction. Let me tell you guys, when I first sniffed this, I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. This is amazing. I actually thoroughly enjoyed this on cold sniff. It smells so good. So it definitely smells like a blackberry sangria. I also get like fruit leather, you know, like fruit leather that you can buy at the grocery store, like the grape flavored one. Totally smell that in here. I totally get the orange, but it's, but it's not doing that funky thing. It's a freshly juiced orange and you get the berries in here. It's extremely saturated, which I love because my buckleberry, my beloved buckleberry is completely saturated. This does that same thing. So it's very strong on cold. And it also kind of reminded me on colds of raspberry hibiscus tea. Cause that kind of had a saturated berry type of vibe to it too. So I did warm this. I did do four cubes in my living room and I did two cubes in a bedroom. You guys, this performed like a freaking champ. I got two whole days out of this sucker. Both rooms, amazing. It developed 
immediately. Like within 15 minutes, the space was full of blackberry sangria goodness. Like it was crazy. When it was warming, it reminded me of how mango margarita from the Gogo Mango Sensepiration was. So definitely like a berry version of the mango margarita. So if you liked mango margarita, you're totally going to like this blackberry sangria. Oh my gosh. I would definitely say that this is club worthy. I'm definitely going to repurchase this. I want more to warm this summer. So I am definitely going to like get a three pack of just this and then club it. Now, will it stay in my club for the long haul? Not sure. Not sure. But I feel like this is something that I could enjoy this year and get some good use out of. So I really, really like the Black Raspberry Sangria. So that is my first sniffs and warm review on the new and upcoming Sunspiration Black Raspberry Vanilla Collection dropping on May 13th. So in the comments uh, section on the video, I would love to continue the conversation. Let me know if you are a consultant and got your hands on the early access for these fragrances. What has been your experience? Which bar was, you know, the best performing for you? Which one disappointed you? Love to hear your thoughts and continue the conversation. And as always, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed already, definitely think about it. So that way you don't miss out on my next honest and true video. And until next time, guys, bye.